Hey guys, welcome back to Slippery Bricks. It's Andy here. Now, I just started this channel not so long ago, so you probably don't know much about me. Well, how about I start you all with two things just to settle you in. For one, I am a big Batman fan. When someone asks me whether I'm a DC fan or a Marvel fan, I tell them I'm a DC fan. But honestly, I'm just a pure Batman fan because Batman is my number one most favorite superhero of all times. Well, if we haven't already figured it out yet. And plus, I have a whole shelf here dedicated for Batman Lego sets. And of course, my most prized Lego Batman set would have to be the 1989 Batmobile here. Just looks so cool. I'm that big. Second thing is, I really like big vehicles. Things like trucks, tractor trailers, construction vehicles, flatbeds, you get the idea. I'm just a big enthusiast. Now you're probably saying, I'm here to watch LEGO, why are you ranting about this stuff? Well that's because, LEGO came out with a set that tends to mix my two interests all together into one, and I also have mixed feelings about it. Which set am I talking about? Well, let me show you. So we're talking about LEGO set 76160, the mobile bat base. This came out around the summer of 2020. One of the better Batman sets in my opinion, from the overall look and the selection of minifigures. So what's my mixed feelings? Let's find out. Here we have the full view of the mobile bat base, and it looks really good from the looks of it. When I first saw this set revealed on the LEGO website, I immediately fell in love with it. And I said to myself I couldn't wait to get it on release date, which I did. This is a pretty unique vehicle because in the overall Batman history, we have never seen anything close to a Batmobile or any sort of Batman vehicle quite like this. Whether it's in a movie, uh, a TV show, comic book, or a video game. Well, at least I haven't. If you did, let me know. From how I understand it, this is basically a mobile command center, similar to what police use. What you have inside is a command center where you do data and crime analysis, uh, criminal tracking, and also has a jail cell to hold the criminals with. It's actually pretty funny because this set reminds me a lot of a LEGO City set that came out a couple years ago. That's set 60139 which is also called Mobile Command Center if you're interested in that. This is basically the Batman version of it. I guess if Batman doesn't want to get cooped up inside his bat cave, he can have an on the go version of it. There are things that I like about this set, but there are some things I really don't like about this set. We'll talk about those in a minute, but right now let's take a quick look at those minifigures. We have a decent amount of minifigures here. We have Batman, Batgirl, Nightwing, Mr. Freeze, Man Bat, and Bronze Tiger. Then my most favorite minifigure of all would have to be Nightwing. Just look at that hairpiece and that torso print, it looks really cool. And I also like Mr. Freeze too, I'm a big fan of Mr. Freeze. You've heard of 3-in-1 before, now you have 5-in-1. You're not building a different vehicle every single time. You basically have 5 different vehicles combined into one set. You have the main tractor trailer. You have the motorcycle, you have the water scooter, the bat quad, and the bat jet. All of these smaller vehicles in front fits in nicely into the truck. The motorcycle comes down a ramp from the back of the trailer. The water scooter comes down in front in the tractor. The bat quad fits inside the bat jet, and the bat jet fits in nicely right on top of the trailer near the front. Now from this point of view, I see one of the things that I did not really enjoy about this set. I don't really hate it, I just don't enjoy it very much. It's the stickers. Let's not even talk about the small detailed ones. Let's just talk about the Batman logos themselves. Because we have one, two, one from each side of the motorcycle, three, four, five, six, and seven. The last one is right on top of the roof of the tractor, which you can't see very well. Just seven Batman logo stickers themselves. It's like if people can't figure out these vehicles belong to Batman, so Batman had to tag them everywhere, just to be clear. Now, if you're not a big fan of stickers, oh, then you're going to have fun with this set. 
Now my main concern is not about the stickers. My main concern is about the tra the trailer in the back. Let's just take a look. We have the back of the trailer here and my first reaction when I finished this is that the trailer is really really small. I mean look at this it's it's very tight and uh, I understand that trailers are meant to be small spaces but this is just like too small for my taste. There's just barely any room. You have a seat right here for Batman to sit in and look oh we got more small stickers for you sticker fans and there's just not enough space it's just, you probably have one room here for a minifigure to stand in and it's just like this is another thing I don't like well if you're talking about tight spaces this is not really the most tight spot the jail cell on the other hand is the most tight spot and my most biggest problem of all in this set let's have a look there we have a closer look at the jail cell here now I took the side and the back apart just to give you a better idea of how small it is. Basically it's only a 2x4 stud space. You can barely fit a minifigure here. The only bad guy you can fit in here is the Mr. Freeze minifigure. If I just put it in right there, it fits just right. If if he if I put it back further, it won't the back won't fit. And as for Man Bat, he can't fit in there at all because his wings are just wide, are just too wide, so he can't fit in there. Same for Bronze Tiger, his claws are just in the way, so it can't fit in either. So this space is really just too small. Last thing I want to show you is probably the best play feature out of this whole set in my opinion. Here we have a switch, and if I just flick it, whole back of the truck just comes out it just pops out it's a very cool breaking out of jail feature now i guess if some of the bad guys want to break another bad guy out this is the way oops wrong reference so regardless of what i did not like about it i still believe this is a really great set especially if you're a batman fan because this is really a one-of-a-kind vehicle something that we have not seen before I think the way the only sas to satisfy my needs is to modify it a bit. I'm definitely going to try to make the back a little bit wider, a little bit longer, especially the jail cell. I'm definitely going to make that bigger. Um, I never actually modified a Lego set before, so this should be fun for me. And uh, maybe one last thing, a fun fact to send you off with is that I did not grow into loving Batman from either a movie, a comic book, or a video game. It came from a very good TV series called the Batman Animated Series. I grew up watching that cartoon and I fell in love with it and that's how I helped fell my love with Batman. If you grew up watching that series, you know what I'm talking about. If you have not, I strongly recommend you have a look at it. So uh, I guess we'll wrap it right here. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. And in the meantime, keep on building.